I tend to cheat when it comes to stuff like this. Like initially I was having a hard time sort of penetrating into the, the writing community. And so what I mean by cheat is like, all right, so if I don't know how to get into the community, so I will just start my own. So 13 years ago, I started a, my own writer's convention and called it MoCon, Maurice Convention. So not a exercise in ego at all. I came up as a horror writer. And so the idea of having this genre convention, but hosting it in a church, because Indiana. And people showed up. In fact, uh, uh, the publisher, the publisher who went on to publish uh, Pimp My Airship, as a matter of fact, was like, hang on, let me get this straight. You started a writing convention. You have like a handful of credits to your name. You started a writer's convention and people showed up? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, yeah, I think we're gonna be doing business with each other for a while. Now as I'm writing, I'm starting to be very conscious that I have this middle grade audience that might follow me from book to book. And so I'm like, okay, so Buffalo Soldier is safe for them. Usual Suspect is safe for them. Pit Myership is pretty safe for them. I think there's only, I think there might be one bad word in the, in the whole thing. I was really wrestling with this question of, you know what, I am just a writer. I don't know what to do with that. You know, I see the world around me, I see these things, I see these systems that we're living under, I see the injustice, I see the inequality. If I'm just a writer, what, is it, what does that mean? What, what could I do to you know, affect any sort of change whatsoever? And so that was the idea that was floating around in, in the back of my mind, especially with my main protagonist, uh, Sleepy, who's an open mic poet, you know, sort of like, all right, Sleepy, you are an agent of change, even though you don't know that yet. <laughs>